Forget it. You know, nobody here. Ask it. This meeting will now come to order. This is the Laverne Board of Zoning Appeals, February 25th, 2014, regular meeting, 5.30 p.m. I see we have a, a full assembly of members here, so we do have a quorum. And uh, gentlemen, have you read the minutes from the last meeting that yes. we have to approve? Yes. Make a motion to accept the minutes as submitted. I have a motion on the floor to accept the minutes, so I hear a second. 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 There's been motion and second uh, to accept the minutes. All those are in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, approved. The minutes are approved as read. Tonight we have uh, new business. We have two items on the agenda tonight. Uh, one is a sign variance and the other is a special exception dealing with auto repair. Uh, we'll take the, the sign variance first. Is there someone here uh, representing that here? Okay, would uh, whoever's going to be the representative take the podium, please? Would you raise your right hand, please? You swear to take state the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Thank you. Would you state your name and address for the record, please? Hi, it's Stacy Holmes, 310 Yacht Court, Smyrna, Tennessee, 37167. Thank you so much. Kristen, may we have the report, please? Uh, certainly, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we have a sign variance tonight requested by Mr. Amnon Shreveman, who is represented by Ms. Stacy Holmes. He has uh, an existing sign at his store in, at a storefront in, um, in Antioch that he would like to move to his new place of business uh, at 3000 West, West near Shreveman Boulevard. It is zone C2, as you can see here. It's the uh, little shopping center, as you can see. Um, his sign is four by 36 and mm -hmm. It is slightly larger. It's 144 square feet. It's slightly. It's it's about 50 percent too large for a wall sign. They are limited to 100 square feet in the commercial district. Uh, the our Article Four of the Municipal Zoning Ordinance limits wall limits the wall signs in commercial areas to 100 square feet. Now you do have the um, Article Eight Eight O Eight O D Part C of sign variances does allow. For an applicant to ask for a 50% increase in either the sign area or the height. And that would allow for a total square, square footage of 150, which is what they have asked for here. Mr. Shreedman has um, indicated that the sign was very costly. It's in really good shape. He doesn't want it to go to waste. And this, this uh, parcel does have, that's the sign right there at the Antioch uh, location. This is the storefront. You can't see very well, but so this is where it will go. Um, that's the only storefront on this side of the building. As you can see, there are plenty of other, other businesses here. This is the storefront that faces West near Shreveman, and the storefront itself is about a, almost 100 feet from the roadway, so it's really, it is difficult to see uh, any, any signage. So they've asked for the variance to have a 144 square foot sign. And I have, I guess the sign has been posted, the, the Board of Zoning Appeals sign has been posted for more than two weeks at that location and I have not received one phone call. So. Thank you. On the bottom half of the, the picture right there, uh, I see the existing sign over the, the door right there, the small sign right there you see. Mm -hmm. Okay, is the sign that's coming from Antioch, you propose to put it where that sign is or to the left of it? We actually want to, uh, we'd have to take that awning down and it would go pretty much where that one is and over. So even if we had to remove that light, that the sign would actually be brighter than the light that's there now, which... Okay, where you just flashed the, your laser, yes. that's where the sign is going to go? Yes, they are, and they did indicate that they would be removing the existing sign All right. on that storefront. All right. Do you have anything to add to the report at all? No, that covers it. Okay. Uh, do any of the members have any questions, please? The question is, is the sign lighted? Yes. It is. is it uh, uh, lighted by a, 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 a light shining on it, or is it one of those where the fluorescent lighting is in the sign? It's, uh, it's in the sign. She in actually sign. made the sign. It's in the sign. It's in the so back lid. <coughs> back lid. Back lid, yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions, please? 
Is there anybody here? Thank you. You might be seated. Uh, is there anybody here that would like to be heard in favor or uh, against this uh, petition, please? There being none, I will accept a motion by a member uh, either for to accept or deny the request. Okay, I'll make a motion to accept the variance as submitted. Uh, we have a motion on the floor. Do I hear a second? Second. second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 It's approved. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the second item that we have here. Uh, the auto repair in C2 Highway Service Commercial Zoning District requested by Billion Villanueva at uh, 208 Old Nashville Highway. Is there someone here to represent that? Would you take the stand, please? Would you raise your right hand? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God? Sir. Thank you. May we have your report, Kristen? Uh, certainly. We have an application tonight from Mr. William uh, Villanueva, who is at work and was unable to attend, but um, he has asked for a special exception to operate a, an, exist, a, an auto repair business at 208 Old Nashville Highway, which is zone C2. You can see it's rather difficult to see, but it's this little triangle right here at the intersection of Old Nashville Highway and Buchanan Street. It's in a commercial district. Okay, um, this is uh, the, the view I'm sure you're much more familiar with. We've got the slot car racing building and then the discount beer and tobacco store right here. Ronnie Butler Builders is right here. And uh, as, you, as you're aware, it's in C2, auto repair is a special exception that is grant grantable by the Board of Zoning Appeals. Mr. Villanueva currently has a auto repair business at 112 Cheerful Place in Laverne. He's had it there for 12 years. That's the picture of it right there. It's, um, it's, off of Cheer it's on Cheerful right off of Bain. And he's been operating All-Star All -Star Auto for 12 years and the building has recently been sold. He does own a home here in Laverne and would like to move his business to the 208 Old Nashville Highway location. And there you can see where automobile repair is allowed as a special exception in C2. Currently this building, and we do have some, I'm going to go through the, um, the background of this uh, location. You can see here the building, it's been here since 1920. You can see that actually the building is outside of the property lines. It's a concrete block building. It's about 2,150 square feet. And again, currently there is a slot car racing business operating there. The parcel itself is very small. It's only 0 0.10 acres. And he has proposed, if he were uh, to be approved, that he would put in a door right here where this is the corner, this is Old Nashville Highway, this is Buchanan. He would put in a, do a door here. He would actually remove the second half, this, about 20 feet of this, of this building here, which would then make the whole building sit inside the property lines. Uh, and this is just to allow for parking because he, he would require about nine spaces if, um, if, if he took off 20, 20, 20 feet of the, of the building. That would leave him a building of about 35 by 38. And he believes that he could fit 12 spaces with the 24-foot drive aisle um, at this location. And I'm going the wrong direction, I'm sorry. It's just going to give you a, this is what they had proposed. If, if possible, they would take off this back here. They'd be able to fit in, fit in the spaces that they require. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a rather difficult location to deal with because it's extremely small. It's, it's, you've got two, two road, roadways. To show you a few of the photos. This is approaching the building, coming, uh, if you had just gone under the underpass up Old Nashville Highway towards Smyrna, you've got the discount beer and uh, tobacco. It's actually just past that. They're, the two structures almost um, abut each other. This is looking. 
from the, from the frontage of the slot car building towards the underpass and the glass contractors right here. You can see how close the, lo the building was built to, uh, to the road. And actually, about the right-of-way starts about right about here. So most of the people that park at the discount to b beer and tobacco are actually parking in the right-of-way. And Mr. Villanueva is very aware of this. He knows that he would not be allowed to have any parking right here. This is just looking at the whole, um, looking at the whole parcel. This is where he's proposed to have his parking if he's, you know, granted. Those those um, tracks would be removed. I was I was told by the real estate agent. That's looking directly across, across Old Nashville at Ronnie Butler. There's the tracks that were that are on the side of the parcel. That's looking at the front of the building. And that's looking down Old Nashville towards Smyrna. And this is the, um, basically the corner of the parcel, the triangle. That's Buchanan. So you can see how it all, um, it all just kind of flows into the, into the roadways. And that's looking across Buchanan at the existing structure right there. And that's where the parking would also be. So. And this is the back that um, this is the back 20 that would be gone if um, to make room for parking. So that's the uh, that's the overall again. And so we, he would be propose, proposing to remove this, put in parking here, parking here, and I believe right. So that's what I have uh, from you now. We I've had the sign posted there for over two weeks. Haven't had any phone calls, and I believe Mr. Villanueva would have would have liked to have been here, but he has to work. So, okay. thank you. Leave that slide up there, please. Yes. Do you have anything to add? I'm sorry, but your name and address for the record. Madeline Villanueva. Madeline, I mean E L Y N, uh, 104 Holland Ridge Drive, Laverne, 37086. I don't have anything to add. I mean, it's pretty much there. The overhead would be right in the middle, so it, would, uh, it wouldn't be a risk of uh, driving out into traffic, per se. Uh, when the customers park, they'll be parking. They won't have to uh, drive their vehicles in or out of the uh, building. That would be all uh, so the mechanic. OK, thank you. Um, Kristen, you mentioned that uh, about nine parking spots. Mm -hmm. What what is the, the required parking? It is um, 150. It's one space per 150 square feet of gross floor area. How many spaces are they going to have to have? They would they would require not 8.8.6, okay. so nine. Round nine. Figures. Correct. Uh, the concern that I have uh, uh, here is that if you look on that chart right there, if you take a look at parking places. Possibly three, but for sure parking spot four, five, possibly two, <coughs> but eleven and twelve. Uh, do those not go on the right away? Um, we looked, and it didn't look like it, it doesn't was on appear the right of way. that it. It does not appear that it does. However, because actually the. Um, the property, the property line actually does extend much further than, than number 12, but I think that um, we probably would need to have a survey or site plan done to determine the feasibility of the parking, the access. If, if the, this board were to approve the, the request, the site plan would still be required to go to the, the planning commission to make sure that it's uh, appropriate? Is that what we're saying? Um, I believe that in discussion, in a little, with a little bit more discussion that we've had lately, um, because it would, because there's going to be a demolition permit that would have to be uh, given out for the removal of the 20 feet. If we're if we're removing a, any kind of structural wall, I would assume that a building official would probably require site plan approval in conjunction with the planning commission and staff approval before it, before a building permit could be issued for that. Yes. Okay, so what we're, we're doing here, we're just trying to clear up some of the items so that it can go to a site plan and go to the Planning Commission? I believe so, yes. The, there was a, initially no discussion 
of removing of the of the 20 feet until it was determined that the parking was n that there was no feasible way to get the parking but i think probably a survey and a site plan would would determine how feasible that would be and and the safety um how safe that that would be for this location yes thank you any members have any questions i do i just just with the amount of uh, the parking that they're going to, have to have and coming in and out of Old National Highway and the busy road that it is, parking space four and five would be cannon and six, the proposed six, seven, eight and twelve is just going to be a very problematic for people getting <coughs> in and out of there. So I, I just don't foresee this being a viable project. Any other comments, board members? How far does the right of way go over there on number five? On uh, number five, you say? Yeah. Well, w again, without the benefit of a survey, it's it's difficult. It's you know, it's basically just overlaying this image with. If we come back and put the sidewalk down the side, are they going to be on the sidewalks? Are we parking on the sidewalk? Here? On Old National Highway? On the other side? No, on Buchanan. On Buchanan. If you were to put, if you were to put sidewalks on Buchanan, um. It's eliminated the, it, it's not on the right of way anymore. I mean, you can it, see. It goes can, further in. This is the, I mean, that's the actual property line. So it's, you know, it's, it, again, without a survey, it's difficult to tell just how close. It appears that there's room. However, I, I think that would, it would be encroaching into the, into the required yards. So. Would um, it be prudent for this uh, board to uh, ask that this be put in, uh, on hold until such time as there is a survey. Uh, my, my it certainly is your. It certainly is your uh, purview to ask for that. Okay. Uh, I just. Uh, I would like to see it there. You know. Uh, normally, I would be in, in the men's to have such. Thing. But to me, it just looks like those parking spots are. If a car parked there, their bumpers are going to be out in the right of way. They're going to actually possibly be in the roadway. It's Your concerns are with which spaces? I mean, because if we only need nine, I mean, the 12 and the, those don't have to be there. We just. Right. There's 12 spots there. Right. But I, I'm, I'm thinking that 4, 5, 10, and 11, and 12 <coughs> might, might actually be uh, exceeding the, the area. My, con <clears throat> my concern would be. The spaces may fit inside the property lines, but you've got to back in and out of the space. So right. And, you'll be and backing up into the right of way. Very dangerous. So even if you can get it to fit, I don't know if you can have maneuverability on the site to get in and out of the site. To park. Right. Uh, do I have any recommendations, suggestions, board members? <clears throat> I'd like to see the, if I understand your concerns, and, and let's put the onus back on, on the, the owner or the proposed uh, renter of this unit to, to do this the survey, but at the same time, we need to move forward. So I, even, even with the aspect of having the correct parking, the reversing or driving out onto Old National Highway and Buchanan being so close is a problem for health and safety. So with that, I'll make a motion to deny the special exception. Uh, we have a motion on the floor to deny this request. We have a second. Second. There's been a motion and a second that uh, we deny the request. We will have a vote uh, with a show of hands. Who is in favor of approving this request? Raise your hand, please. Of, of a grant of the permission. Oh, grant the permission. Mm -hmm. that that's not what the motion was. Mm -hmm. The motion was to deny. Mm -hmm. All right, don't deny it. So whoever votes in favor is denying the request. Show of hands, please. That's unanimous. Uh, the petition is not approved. That was the last item on the uh, agenda here. Uh, having no further business scheduled for us, this board stands adjourned. <laughs>